If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die today, I'ma go and get some money. If I die uh, today, if I die yeah. today. Cold flows for a cold mind, see a new world, but I'm so blind. Kick rocks when your time's up, better start digging like a cold mind. Cold heart, seen cold times, it's a bold move, but the sunshine raise up. When you Good morning, DJ family. It's your boy Boomin coming at you with yet another video, guys. Go ahead and do all the things that the algorithm likes. Got my water locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. Taking a look at the V chain price here, up at up to about four cents. This is what we like to see. V chain is kind of holding strong. Um, looks like crypto's cooled off just a tad bit uh, over the massive run we had just a few short days ago. So that is definitely good to see. Price targets. Uh, for the bull run, hopefully a 50 cent V chain. I don't think that's out of the question. I don't think that's out of the realm of possibility. Uh, but what do you guys think down below? Let me know um, what you guys think the price target for V chain will be during the height and the fire of the bull run. Um, I expect us to kind of move sideways for a while. Uh, probably up until the having and past the having, we might have one more rally as the having gets near, uh, as people, you know, buy the, buy the news, uh, because, you know, we always have a, a pre having pump and then sort of a post having dump. So, uh, let me, let me, let me know what you guys think. Uh, taking a look at the total market here, we do have some green here. Cardano is looking pretty tasty. If we do save ourselves, uh, and if you've been stacking, staking, and chilling, like your boy Boomin, you are in a good place. Polka Dot also is looking pretty good too. Um, all con all things considered. So, um, somebody did ask me for a portfolio reveal. I'm not doing a portfolio reveal, guys. Um, you know. My portfolio, my goals are different than your goals, okay? Um, as long as you stick to, you know, fundamentals and you do your own research and, you know, you don't invest more than you're willing to lose, you will make it out on top in the bull run. Remember, buy low, sell high. Obviously, you know, you're saying, duh, booming. Of course, you're supposed to buy low, sell high, but it's not that easy. People all the time, <clears throat> every time there's a big pump, they want to come on in, they get there, they get FOMO, they buy at the top, and then it dumps, and then they panic, and then they sell low. All right, guys, so you need to find undervalued coins out there, or wait for a dip, and then purchase. Um, some coins that, some, some coins that I'm looking at are the D-Pin coins. Uh, let's see here, there should be a, tab for d pin here um i could be wrong take a look at categories i think we got d pin uh, decentralized physical infrastructure i'm looking into that i'm looking into <clears throat> looking into meme coins as well um so you know if you guys want sort of my strategy these are the type of coins that I'm looking into purchasing as of right now. Uh, so this is de decentralized physical infrastructure here, D-Pin. Uh, a couple of coins here that I'm looking at. Um, obviously, meme coins, that's more towards the end of the bull run. Uh, as, you know, the money gets circulated from Bitcoin to altcoins to uh, coins that could, uh, could really explode. And, you know, just the just the you know the tried and true the bitcoins the ethereums the cardanos so you know my portfolio goals are not your portfolio goals so i just wanted to to bring that up but good comment um so yeah um that's pretty much it for the v chain price here uh v chain moving on up the market cap now at three billion this is what we like to see and uh there are good brighter days for for a uh, v chain um so keep stacking sticking and chilling guys up 46 percent over the last seven days that's what we like to see let's actually take a look at veto so we have veto here guys uh still doing pretty good um obviously it came down just a little bit uh after going up um a hundred percent 
um, in one day, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, this is what we like to see. So it's up about 20% on the day here. Um, yeah, <laughs> I mean, we're literally stacking, sticking and chilling. I, I know I keep saying it over and over and over again, but you know, that's, that's the only, um, that's the only advice I got for you in crypto. You know, you find undervalued cryptos, you buy when no one wants it, and then you just stack, stake, and chill until the bull run occurs. Simple, easy, and uh, you will make it, guys. We will make it. All right. So, Vito looking pretty tasty as well. There's a link down below uh, that you can sign up for crypto.com. They got VChain and Vito. Also on Coinbase, VeChain and Vito has been listed on there as well. But if you want to help me out, go ahead down below, create a, uh, a crypto.com account using my link and uh, uh, go ahead and pick you up some VeChain and Vito. All right, guys, moving on here. So a uh, major announcement. Uh, we've got VeChain at the Mobile World Congress Barcelona 2024. We're thrilled to announce VeChain will participate in the MWC event from February 26th to the 29th with a highlight announcement from our CEO, Sunny Lou, on February 28th. This year, we're bringing significant news to the blockchain community, making the start of a new chapter on VeChain. For those attending in Barcelona, join us to witness this pivotal moment for exclusive insights, airdrops, and parallel access to VeChain's uh, latest developments. Follow the Telegram channel here. Stay connected for what promises will be a transformative moment in blockchain history. So that is pretty cool. Uh, Sunny Lou did hint at some tokenomic things happening here on uh, in February. I haven't heard of anything just yet. So hopefully this announcement can confirm that. Uh, it could just be a rumor and I could be completely wrong. I have been wrong before. Obviously, if I was right all the time, I'd be a billionaire. Uh, but uh, I can't wait to see what he has in store here for that. And with that, we have Sonny Lou speaking at the WMC in 2023. So let's take a look. We're going to show his whole uh, keynote here, and then we're going to wrap things up. I love you guys so much. Keep chopping, and we'll talk to you soon. Come on up, good to see you. Um, thanks for sticking around. This is a really interesting company, so I, I would definitely encourage you to have a listen. And for our remote listeners, they will they will hear it there as well. So sure. take it away. All right. So all right. <clears throat> okay, hi everyone. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Sunny. And I'm a co-founder and CEO of VeChain. And VeChain is a layer one blockchain platform focused on sustainability implementations. So actually, it's, um, it's the second time for this year I've been to Vegas. And actually, the first time it was not really good experience because surprisingly, I experienced a big snow in Vegas. Could you imagine that? But honestly, consider about some other events like we see the a tornado in Milan, we can see that climate change is really a real deal and we should really focus on that. So I wanted to uh, introduce to you guys how we want to use the Web3 technology to change the implementation of sustainability. So firstly, um, I want to share with you guys some interesting stuff, which is a crypto cycle, um, also the blockchain cycle. It's like our World Cup. Every four years, it's a World Cup. Um, 13, 17, 21, you know, we all reach the all-time high in terms of the price, for sure. But also, in, you know, we reach the kind of the most hot topic of the whole world. More and more professionals and people coming to that. However, the following year, we call all-time high plus one, we call it crying year because the price just dropped. But actually, more importantly, the plus two, plus three, we call it building year. So how, whatever you try to build, whatever you make the contribution and make the efforts, it will decide how high you're gonna reach, right? So this year, 2023, following the next year, 2024, it's a very important 
building year for the entire blockchain space. So for VeChain, um, we actually doing the same. We following the same cycle. Um, we have been um, published three times white paper. In 2017, we published the white paper to demonstrate what kind of infrastructure we try to build. So that's that's about the VeChain itself. And in 2019, we published the second white paper focused on the enterprise adoptions because we believe this is a way how the blockchain technology can really create the right value or real value for the whole world. And this year, early March, um, actually also in Vegas, we released the third white paper, which we co-authored with the BCG together. Well, you all know BCG, right? So uh, the title we, we put in the new white paper, we call it Web3 for Better. So like I said, we wanted to use Web3 technology to innovate the way how we're going to implement the sustainability. So the first question is, why Web3? So let's go back a little bit. What is a Web1? Web1 is when the internet gets started. And actually, most of the most of people are focused on the connectivity first. We wanted to connect to the network. We want to connect to the internet. So the users are quite a passive. Whatever the contents you see on the internet, you just receive it. You just read it, right? And the ma major successful company at that time were those hardware or infrastructure provider like IBM, Cisco, AT and T. And then we moved to the Web two is actually is a mobility focus um, because people don't want to connect to the internet but also they want to connect to the internet like from any time or anywhere so the mobility is a focus and the user becomes more interactive and going to the web 3 actually we're already in the let's say the last stage of Web 2 and or in between the transition period from Web 2 to the Web 3. So we can see whatever from the new X.com, like Twitter, also the TikTok, you know, users are more focused on the creation, more focused on the contents. And also um, like the uh, Twitter or like the X.com is already helping the user to monetize the creations. So that's actually the focus, or my understanding about the Web3, is more focused on the user creation and also how to help the user to monetize value and eventually make the user become the owner of my own creation or specifically to say, my own data. So with the Web3, you can see we're able to, let's say, monetize the creation, monetize the activity, or AKA the data, on the internet. And for sure, data on the blockchain will make it more meaningful, more trustworthy. So why sustainability? I mean, for sure, sustainability is the right thing to do. But why sustainability need the blockchain technology or need the Web3 technology? So we have been working with BCG for several months to analyze. Actually, I know lots of people heard about uh, environmental change, climate change, but actually sustainability has much more um, pillars. I have two more pillars other than just environmental changes or environmental sustainability, also including the social sustainability and also economic sustainability. So we did um, run the sectors um, across the whole different industries, several different industries, and try to analyze what they need in terms of sustainability implementations, uh, what we're missing from that. So simply to say, you know, I think the enterprise, or let's say the major um, activity in the sustainability right now is still like a project basis. You know, we heard about association enterprise or talk about sustainability project or sustainability campaign. But from our understanding is, sustainability should be the bottom of people's life, should be your daily life. Whatever you do, you know, you can drink a coffee without paper or plastic bag, cup, or you can drive an EV other than fossil cars. Everything you do on a daily basis 
can be part of the contribution of sustainability. But how we can unify that, how we can make it as a collective value, and then we need a Web3. We are able to use the blockchain to verify your actions, verify your data, and also give you the in-time incentive. And eventually, all of the collective value can create real and greater impacts. So how are VeChain going to make it happen? Um, three sections. We have done, in the last cycle, we have done hundreds of enterprises, uh, ap ap adoptions, applications. So what we try to do is we analyze all of the different type of use cases. For example, like a food safety platform for Walmart, um, battery management, e uh, carbon credits for BYD as an EV company. For all of those cases, we try to analyze what could be the sustainability value coming from the existing applications. We just need to make a little bit upgrades so we can un unify um, you know, the users from those enterprises or from those products to give the sustainability value of that <coughs> following our narrative. And also on the other side, we work on the different products, technical products, to make the enterprise adoption or application building more easily. Uh, we launched the, the Vosge, like it's a Web3 as a service platform, the new wallet, something like that. Also, um, very importantly, other than just the blockchain technology or any kind of mobility technology, we also work with um, National University of Singapore, led by um, Sir Constantine, a Nobel Prize winner, focus on the smart materials because we believe the new type of smart materials will help to create the new type of use cases for sustainability, for those kind of reproduction um, phases. <coughs> and also, in the center, we focus on the individual users. We focus on our communities. That's how we're going to do. So take an example. Um, for normal production um, of any kind of products, commercial products, almost every different steps of the cycle of the products can be renovated with a sustainability concept or with a recycled materials or with a lower carbon footprint. So every different steps can be generating the new type of social value or new type of sustainability value can be tracked and also incentivized by the blockchain technology, by the Web3. So we, we select several different use cases in the past we have done, like I mentioned. Uh, the carbon credits for BYD, um, Supply Me is a supply chain finance, um, Woma is for food safety platform, and along with um, Rece is a plastic waste collection from the ocean. Um, okay, seems okay. And my story, HM, we have done like a hundred different enterprise applications, so our new strategy is to upgrade those enterprise applications plus the individual efforts incentivized by the Web3, by the token, can make really um, you know, sustainability contributions. And eventually, we believe, after we're building up the different type of sustainability ecosystem, the entire biosphere can create a new type of business model. Think about that. Every individual user you know, has been done, like, let, let's talk about like 1 million users globally. They may do a very fractional efforts in terms of sustainability efforts, right? You drive, let's say, 5 miles EV, um, the carbon credits could be, you know, worse cents or even less than cents. But how are you going to monetize that? But if you think about, I have 10 million users around the whole world driving averagely 10 miles a day or five miles a day, all of the collect value of the data could show really great impacts. And those people should, should be incentivized. And also the people who drive like big tank, get fossil cars should be punished. But I'm saying punished, but eventually let's do, let's talk about um, resource optimization. Eventually, let them to be the sponsor to in encourage people, incentivize people to do more sustainability activity on a daily basis. I think that's a key. How are we going to do the real change in terms of sustainability? 
So what VeChain actually providing from the technical infrastructure, how are we going to make um, the blockchain applications building according to different type of use cases? So basically, we focus on the infrastructure part, the technology part. That's what we do. We are layer one blockchain um, platform. So firstly, our platform itself is very environmental friendly. It's very low carbon um, footprints generated by every year. So actually, lots of people have a misconception about you know blockchain generates wasting power. or we'll talk about the Bitcoin, how much energy has been wasted. But that's, let's say, the first generation of the blockchain technology uh, coming from Bitcoin. But actually, with the new technologies like what VeChain has been doing, we really have a very small carbon footprint. So basically, you can see some really incredible numbers. Um, you know, it's a three zeros here, right? So every transaction actually costs 0 0.000216 uh, kilowatts for that kind of the transactions. So, or simply to say, the entire carbon emission for the for the VeChain blockchain for a whole year equals just 0.4 percent of generating or mining one single Bitcoin. So the technology can really make, you know, um, let's say environmental friendly um, blockchain platforms. And also we have, you know, 100% online, zero outage since 2018. So it's already five years. We don't have any kind of outage, pretty reliable. And the voz I just mentioned, it's a very simple tool. So we call it a Web3 as a service. So for any user, just go through a few clicks, you're able to create your own smart contract, issue your own token, or mint your NFT. And even better, we use the fee delegation feature, we can pay for you. <clears throat> so for example, you can mint your own 5,000 NFT for free to get started. So then we're able to make any kind of enterprise or even individual builders to do your own application to support whatever you want to do very easily. And also, we just launched the new wallet. Uh, there is an iOS version, Android version, extension version. So it's pretty good to use. Actually, it's not just a wallet per se. Wallet is more just technical terms in terms of crypto users. But we want to make it as a portal to access any future sustainability applications. And last but not least, um, the new explorer of VeChain, VeChain Stats, is also can calculate in time the carbon footprints or carbon emissions for the entire blockchain. And later on, when you do an online transaction, when you mint an NFT or execute any kind of smart contract, you will know exactly how much carbon emission from this app, from this action. And then you can have the, that kind of awareness. Even you can choose like, okay, I wanted to pay a little bit more to offset this kind of carbon emission to make eventually the entire VeChain blockchain and applications running on that to be the carbon neutrality. So that is our our target as well. So, and also along with the technical challenges, um, we already got like 12,000 builders to focus on building different type of um, blockchain applications to support sustainability. And we're targeting to have the next uh, Hackzone in Boston. If you guys are interested, come to Boston. Uh, it will be October 6 to 8. We're going to have a three days Hackzone to um, compete with the different candidates to see like what kind of the innovative ideas uh, to support sustainability. So in summary, we're targeting to build up sustainability ecosystem on the Web3 coming from the hundreds of enterprise adoption cases we have done in the last cycle, last few years. And also we wanted to implement the new tokenomics and the gamification to attract the individual users and eventually unite everyone along with the enterprise case so we are able to create the collective value to be the more or greater impacts. Okay, so thank you very much.